sausage carbonara. I know you're used to seeing it bacon, or pork cheek, or pancetta, but guess what? I had Italian sausages, so all I did was I turned them into meatballs, I threw them in some pasta with a little bit of egg, and a little bit of Parmesan. And my mouth's watering, why? Because I already ate a plate of it. They told me I had to save this one for this intro, but I couldn't wait, so I made two. Guys, today we're going to make an amazing carbonara, but we're going to put a little twist on it because instead of using like bacon or pancetta, uh, we're going to use sausage. I mean, look at these big, beautiful guys. And these things came from uh, friends of ours that have a uh, free range pork ranch. And so thank you guys. We appreciate it. So the sausage, that's where we're going to start. Notice I already have my water boiling because I hate to wait for water to boil. <laughs> So I do that before I start actually cooking. So for the sausage, this is what we're going to do with this. The first thing we're going to do is a little bit of olive oil. Maybe a lot of it. I swear, i got to get those squeeze bottles. And check this out. The casings are perfect for this. All I'm doing is I'm going to squeeze it out. Boom. Meatball. Look at this. Again. They just come out perfectly. And I just give them a little squeeze in my hand because these aren't gonna be, you know, perfect round spherical meatballs. It's gonna be a little rustic because you get that in, in Italy, right? You get that the benefit of being able to be a little bit more rustic. And that doesn't mean sloppy. It just means that it's done with love, in my opinion. Now, what I want you to notice most importantly is probably the fact that the pan is cold. And there's a reason for that. All right, normally if we're gonna sear meat or whatever we're doing, um, we're gonna have the pan hot when we put the oil in and we want it to come up to temp before we put the meat in so we can get a hot, fast sear. That's not what I'm looking for here. There's a beautiful fat layer in, this, uh, in these meatballs because it's, it's a pork meatball. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna render out some of that fat and that's what's gonna help emulsify, which is a fancy word for make sauce, right? Uh, we're gonna just make sauce with it. So these meatballs are going in. And there you have it. That was two sausages. Look how beautiful that is. All right, let me wash my hands real quick. And then I'm gonna turn it on. Starting with a cold pan is what allows that fat to render. So now I crank it up to a mid heat, um, usually in the eight, seven to eight range and that's that's going to give you exactly the heat you're interested in uh, to render that out okay a little bit of olive oil and we're good to go me i gotta hit it with a little bit of salt and then i haven't salted the water yet because well i wanted to come up to a boil the reason being is because i'm using a uh i'm using a stainless steel pan and what that can do is like if you put in like kosher salt or whatever uh without the water boiling then you can actually pit your uh, stainless pan or your bowl or a stainless pot or pan, all right? So these guys are going to come up, they're going to render, and I'm going to drop my noodles in. These are fettuccine noodles, uh, so it's super simple, man. All I'm going to do is this. Hold, give it a little twist as to not break, and then drop. Oh, wait, I forgot. I need one little clove of garlic. Golly, look at the size of that thing. Beautiful. All right. And tough. This is like the Fort Knox of Fort Knox of garlic. But look at the size of that thing. This is beautiful. The reason I'll check this out. I'm just gonna smash it with my hand a little bit. If you want to pull the husk off, do it. If you don't, that's fine too. The reason being. Check this out, it's going right in. But. And you just pop. Now the reason I'm not dicing that or doing anything crazy with it is because the oil itself is gonna pull that flavor out of the garlic. Because this isn't a garlic dish. I mean, otherwise I'd be slicing and mincing and doing everything. Let me check my pasta, give it a little spin. Oh, that's looking beautiful. All right, so. 
now I'm feeling a little bit of the pressure, right? Because we're trying to make this fast. And I've been talking a lot and not cooking a lot. What I'm going to do is this. Watch. Uh, fresh peppercorns. These come right out of Costco. Going in the... Woo! Talk about aromatic, man. Check these out. These peppercorns. The only thing I'm going to do is... That's probably way too many, but I don't care. I'm doing it anyway. I'm just going in with it, and I'm going to give it a good smash. That was way too many. I guess we're going to be eating peppercorns for days now. I've ground my peppers. This is where it gets interesting. Watch this. Bring the plate over. Do the right eye. Check this out. That's the first grind of the pepper. That's done. Pepper is going in. I need all the clothes. Come check this out. But I just dropped that pepper right in there. I'm going to move it around. Look. We're starting to make oh, nice this little. Oh, I love that. I'm going to use this. Bring in a little bit of starchy water in here. Let's get me loosen that up. Check my pasta. Still a little al dente for me, but it's getting close. Let's get to the egg, right? We are making a carbonara after all. Egg in. From here, I'm gonna put in a little bit of Parmesan. And yes, this is grated Parmesan because, well, what day is it? Thursday, it's a Thursday night. So I'm gonna put in a little bit of Parmesan and this is gonna be a quick, super fast dinner. I mean, I don't even know what time we're up to right now, but it can't be that long, right? The pasta's only been cooking for a few minutes. Okay. Very straightforward. It's egg and grated parm. All right, so, most people at this point would what? Strain their pasta. Don't do that. We're just gonna grab it up as we can and it's going right in. Look at that. We're bringing in some of the water with it and then that's what's gonna make, help create some of our sauce. Get in there. Oh, come on. Everybody in the pool. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Beautiful. Love that. All right, now listen. And then here we go. Once that cools off, oh yeah. The reason I love the Italian sausage for this quick dish is because it's already seasoned, right? I don't have to go in and, and do a whole bunch of stuff with it. All right. I'm gonna move this around as I, as I put it in slowly, because that egg is gonna become part of that sauce, and then that sauce is gonna become part of the awesome that we call um, Yes, I know this is a little bit different than you're used to seeing, um, mainly because it's using sausage instead of bacon, but that's what I had, you know what? And that's the beauty of uh, Italian cooking, is the fact that, oh my gosh, look in there. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? That's the beauty of Italian cooking. They cooked with what they had. That's what pasta came from. Um, and that's why they actually chose to cook it al dente, because it was more toothsome, uh, to use kind of a chef word. But basically that meant it felt more like meat, so they felt like they were getting a heartier dish. All right, this guy is ready. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's falling apart and it's dark and beautiful. And if you want to eat that, I recommend it. If you don't, just discard it. That's fine too. Either way, take your tongs. Oh. And plate it up gracefully, as I just did. And I'm gonna hit it with just one more hit of salt. One more hit of parm. If you have fresh parm, please use it. Um, someone in my kitchen used all my fresh parm. So I'm using canned. 
but it works, right? It's Thursday night. Please finish it off with that beautiful pepper that you made earlier, that you ground. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be amazing. Where's that fork? First thing I'm gonna try is that meatball. I tasted it earlier. Mm. It's so good, that egg yolk gives it such a richness though, to the whole dish that it's amazing. Let me see. I'm gonna go in there and get a big bite of that pasta. Ooh, it's hot. Mmm. Man, that smells good. Mmm. Pasta. It's a perfect al dente. I'm not hit over the head with the garlic, but you get that back end that is brilliant. That pepper. If you don't have it, do yourself a favor. Get a mortar and pestle and, uh, and grind that sucker yourself because it makes a huge difference. And then, uh, of course, the, the Italian meatballs. And listen, you can do the same thing for your family in like 15 minutes, you know, just increase the portions and it cooks all about the same time. So anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. Um, this is sausage carbonara. Olivino. I guess that's a word. Guys, this was too good to wait. So you know what, for more deliciousness and more awesome, subscribe. Oh, yeah.